humans, it is Lou here for Simply Crochet Magazine and in today's video we are going to be diving into the Hook and Land project in association with Skypeers Yarn. If you'd like to join us in a wider community sort of sense and link arms with us as we hook away at this fabulous project, then you can do so by joining us in the Facebook group. We'd love to hear from you and be updated on how you're getting on and if you do have any problems, myself and a few other members of the Simply Crochet team will be there to help if needs be. So without further adieu, Let's do this thing. For today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at basket weave stitch. Now you can find the full pattern for this in issue 78 of Simply Crochet magazine. And for this tutorial, you will need Scapier's Stonewash XL in coral, and a 5.5 millimeter hook. For those of you in the United States, this is an I or a nine. So once you have your starting chain, you are going to do a treble crochet in the fourth stitch from your hook. You're then going to carry on along that chain, putting a treble crochet in each stitch along. For those of you more on the beginner's side of things, you can find an in-depth tutorial on treble crochet by following the link in the description below. Now, if you pause the video, work your treble crochets all the way along and I'll meet you back here at the end. So when we get to the end, we're gonna fit. So when we get to the end, we are going to finish off with our last few treble crochet stitches. and then we are going to turn our work and we are going to chain two. This is gonna count as a half treble. We're then gonna be working front post treble crochet stitches. So rather than working into the top of the stitch, we are gonna be working in to the post from the stitch below. So how we're gonna do this is we are going to yarn over. We're gonna then insert our hook from the side into the back and through like so, you're almost lifting the post, you yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So just a standard treble after that. So we'll try it again, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we'll do a third, so yarn over, insert your hook in behind that post, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And those are your front post stitches. I'll show you a bit slower in just a moment. And those are your front post stitches. So what we're gonna be doing next is we are going to be working four back post treble crochet. So we'll go in from behind this time and pull the post to the back and then we'll complete our treble that way. Here's a second one, so we yarn over. We are gonna insert our hook from the back and grab that post and go through. We're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're gonna do two more of those. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook from the back, pick up that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And then the final one, we yarn over, we go in from the back, grab that post, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And now we're gonna go back to our front post treble crochet. So we are going to find our lovely four stitches from the ones below to have a look at our posts. We are going to yarn over. And from the front, we are gonna go in behind that post and pick it up. We yarn over, pull up a loop. 
yarn over, pull through two, it's a bit fiddly, and yarn over and pull through two, and we're going to do three more of those. And here is the last one. So in behind, we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the final two. So now we're going to do our back post trebles. In from the back, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to be doing four of those in total. Here's the last one, that's number four. And then what we're going to do is we are going to repeat that pattern until we get to the end of the row. So if you'd like to pause your video and I will meet you here in just a second. So once you get to the end, instead of doing four front post trebles, you're going to do three. So we'll do the first here. And here is number two. Number two, and the final one, so the third one. Lovely jubbly. And then to finish off that row, instead of doing a fourth front post treble, we are going to put a half treble crochet into the top of that stitch there. So we're gonna yarn over. We're going to insert our hook, we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. We're now going to turn our work, and as we did before, we are going to chain two, one, two, and once again, this counts as a half treble. So now we're going to be doing back post treble in the next three stitches. So we're going to go in from the back. Pick up a post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to do two more of those. It's number two, and the final one, which is number three. And then what we're going to do is four front post treble crochets. So we are going to be going yarn over, we're going to be picking up that post from the front, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. And we're going to do that three more times. two, it's three, and then there's the fourth one of our set. We are then going to do, unsurprisingly, four back post treble crochet stitches. So we go in from the back, pick up that post, and then we finish our treble crochet as normal. We do three more. The beauty of this project is that it really does just 
include treble crochet stitches but you're just going into a different part of your work and creating a completely different effect to what you'd be getting if you were just doing treble crochet back and forth all the way along and it can look really really complicated just by changing that one tiny aspect of the stitch So there is our fourth back post treble crochet. We are now going to do four front post treble crochet stitches. So yarn over, insert our hook from the front and pick up that post, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now once again, we do have a treble crochet tutorial available on the channel. I will link that below. So if you click in that description, if you're having any problems with just a standard treble crochet, and I'll help you out with that too. So we're going to carry on in that way until we get to the end of this row and then I'll meet you back so if you'd like to pause the video and I'll see you in a second. So once we're at the end we are going to finish by doing three back post treble crochet stitches. So remember we are going in and picking up that post from the back. So there's number one. number two and there's number three and as we did in the previous row to end off we are going to do a half treble crochet in the top of that final stitch we do also have a half treble crochet tutorial which I'll link below if you're struggling with that too and as you can see, when you look back at the right side of the work, you can get a really, really good feel for how this is supposed to start looking. So after that point, it's all about following our lovely Lucy Croft's marvellous pattern in the magazine. You can find that again in issue 78 of Simply Crochet. So as always, thank you so much for coming and spending this time with me. I very much appreciate it because I quite like you. I think you're all right anyway. Can deal with you in small doses and if you do have any issues with the pattern whatsoever please get in touch by leaving a comment below you can send us a message you can get in touch with us through facebook or twitter or instagram we are everywhere in the meantime from myself and the rest of the simply crochet team we love you very much and we will see you very soon for another video bye